So looking back at video, I noticed two things. The first, I did not film an intro, and the second, I did not film an outro. So in post-op, here we go for an intro. Basically today our goal was to go out and have a good time, and we happened to come across a, uh, a hatch in the middle of the day, which is pretty unusual for fall, but we did it anyways. And the second thing um, was to uh, see if we could catch some big fish, because this stream has big fish, and we did that indeed. Toasty up here. Keep on moving. Oop, oh, eat it. Yes. There we go. So <laughs> A little bit of an interesting situation here. I'm moving along and I see this fish come up and uh, grab a hold of it. So, first one of the day. Oh, and there he's off. Well, that's all right. It's catch and release day anyway. I got to hold the leader, so it counts, right? There's just not a lot of whole lot of places for fish to really hide except on the bottom. Um, so. Just doesn't jive turkey with me. All right. My fly is already sinking. Another reason why I don't like dry fly fishing. This is a dry fly. I put all sorts of desiccant powder on it and it still wants to freaking sink. Which as soon as it does that, might as well fish it like a nymph. Stupid dry flies. I didn't show it to you because I'm ashamed of how it looks. It's not a very well tied dry fly. I tie wet flies, not dry flies for that exact reason. Right, let me get back out of the water here. So that way I have a semblance of possibility of catching a trout. Ooh. All right, so I did spot a group of fish up here at the front of the pool. So let's cast over them. One's turning, looking at it. Looking at it, turning. Oh, and he refused. Here he's eating it. Oh, came right up to it and then refused. Oh, that's sad. I'd started out with a wet fly, I'm sure I would have got him. <laughs> Can you tell I'm biased against uh, these dry flies? No, I, I really do enjoy dry fly fishing, I just am not very good at it. So I you know, tend to throw a wet fly because I'm good at it. And for, for me, 90% of my fish, oh, he's looking at it. Oh, he's looking at it too. Eat it. Okay, so it's the right size wise, but it needs to be a little different. That's actually a nice rainbow, so here we go. I do want to catch a fish here. That's a big hook. a little more digestible. Man, these fish are suddenly feeding all on top.
I took a black and white or black and red fly and made it into white stuff, white powdery stuff. Sounds like somebody's got an issue. No, no, fish came up. I set the hook and did everything right, and I then I lost him. And uh, I'm pretty sure he spooked the hole. That was a nice fish. Also, my uh, fly pulled under by that and no longer floats. Can you see why I don't like dry fly fishing? <laughs> that was a good fish. He won't come up for anything again. Oh, the hook set like that. Fish came up, whacked it, put it right back in after he missed it, and uh, and they said he didn't eat it anymore. So that's two I've uh, lost or missed. Actually, be three, but a couple false, false casts to dry my fly off. All right, we're going to give this one more cast over here. Got one looking at me. Oh, he did, refused it. Oh, yes. Okay, maybe dry fly fishing is not stupid. Um, another just really, really, actually this is a huge fish. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, this is a big brown. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but um, as far as, you know, because it's spawning time for the browns. Look at that, take line. Look at her go. That looks like it's gonna be a master angler. I am recording, good, good, good. Just puts her head right down to the bottom of the stream. Yep. Now you guys are going, what are you doing? I'm getting my net. I did not think that there was a fish this size in the pool. She's about tuckered out already, so that's good. She's right here. Doesn't want to come in quite yet. <clears throat> Beautiful fish so far.
beauty of a fish. Come on in, come on in. Nope, still wants to go out. Come on, I don't wanna. Yep, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah! That is a master angler brown, guys. Oh my goodness. Beautiful fish. Let me give her a drink here. <clears throat> Look at that fish. Look at that fish. That's a monster. It's a big male. Let me get him unhooked here. Let me take a selfie with him because I am going to record this for a master angler here. And we will go from there. Just gigantic mouth on this thing. Look at that mouth. Oh, fly fishing, uh, excuse me, not fly fishing. He's got teeth on him that are razor sharp. All right, flies out. Give him a drink quick. Beautiful fish. Those colors are amazing. All right, I'm gonna stop you guys and I'm gonna pay attention to this fish because that's what I gotta pay attention to. All right, I did see one fish feed here. He's still feeding. He's just teasing me now. I have to give my fly some... Nope. Oh, I was I'm gonna have to give my fly some more desiccant though it floats on top. And uh, just lost a little brown. He really muddled me up. Look at this, guys. I think he won that fight. Hey, we got it back out. <laughs> I didn't even tie a wind knot in there. So today they're seeming, like, seeming to like the uh, subtle presentation, um, also the aggressive presentation, so uh, maybe they're just feeding today. But um, I think if you're hitting them um, within two or three feet of their feeding lane, they're going to come out and smack it. Um, today, anyways. Just had a fish rise on my fly. Um, keep fishing. Um, especially, oh, another brown. They are just exploding on me. Um, there are rainbows, I promise you, but they are apparently, oh my goodness, he inhaled it. So this fish absolutely inhaled my fly. So what do you do? Put him in the water as soon as you can. Get your hemostat out. Oh, he's taking line now. <laughs> I hooked my thumb through my hemostat weird and couldn't get back out. I feel like a monkey. All right, come on back in, buddy. I didn't mean to give you that much line. Ooh, that's down in there. Get your hemostat out. Where is this hooked on you, buddy? I think you got it out. No, I did not. There, it's out. And he's back. Whoosh. Aggressive little guy. Nobody yet. One turn and looked. That's a rainbow. There we go, that's what we're looking for. So this is a put and grow rainbow. How can I tell? Well, look at how he's fighting. He's fighting much more aggressively than my normal rainbows. The other thing, you can look at him and you can see that he's a much longer, thinner fish. And when we get him out here, you'll see he's just fighting away. You'll see that he has lost all of his hatchery markings. What do I mean by that? And a hatchery fish, you're gonna see 90% of them anyways. You're gonna see that they've got fins and such missing or are damaged or worn off. Um, their snouts are often, and he's got good sharp teeth too. Here comes, his buddy, looking at why he's uh, not out of the hole. That was interesting to see. 
I have to use my hemostat on that one again too. Come here, bud. Nice big fish though. Yeah, the faster we play together, the faster you get to go home. There. Go make little ones. We need some more wild rainbows. He's backing away. Nope. Cast up in a little bit faster water again. Let's go way back there. A little bit faster water and find a fish. I think this is brown again. Yeah, it's brown. Not really what I was going for, but I didn't see him either, so he didn't give me an opportunity to not cast at him. He's not quite spawn in size, so I'm not too worried about him, but I do want to be a little easier on these guys. I'm looking for the damn rainbows. So um, you guys keep hearing me talking about these wild rainbows and they are beautiful um, comparison to the stalker rainbows. Um, the stalkers are just kind of silvery. They look pretty dull and drab and usually missing a fin or two. Whereas these put and grows have had time to, uh, well, become wild basically. And I know everybody wants to smack me for saying that, but They've had time to learn how to feed naturally. They've had time to figure out what looks natural and unnatural. Whereas the stalkers are, or the freshly stocked, I should say, are just biting at whatever moves. Um, and that's why I like catching these, these put and grows. But the further I get back in here, the more um, dominant the brown population is, it's another nice big brown. Aggressive little bastard. Let me get him back on the, the reel here. Yeah, he wants to go, don't he? This might be another set, this might be another uh, master angler here. Let me, Now he's a little small. He's just about 14, 15 inches. Beautiful fish again though. See, there's a rainbow following him, trying to kick him out of his hole. <laughs> that might be getting close to a master angler. Yep, it's another master angler. So I have two master anglers today. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. So I got that fish released. He went right back to where he wanted to go. And I'm seeing a couple more feeding, so let's poke another one. Once again, it's a mix of these wild rainbows. That's another brown. The little guy, but we don't discriminate against the little ones. And he tore my fly apart. That's all right. Fly. Flies are replaceable. And it's a fishing lift, and then I'm gonna get out of here. I'm still looking for these rainbows, and I'm not finding them. Put on a nice big fly here. Um, see if anybody, I do see a couple 
looking at it, I did make a shorter cast, so let's give it another two foot out there. Ooh, flash. Wind kind of got to me. Oh, come on. Might have to downsize for once on my dry fly. There's a good cast. Little brown, I'm guessing. Yeah, little brown. Good little fighter. And he's off. I don't even have to touch him. That's the best way to do it. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. There were some really quality fish that we caught today and a lot of them. So hopefully you guys enjoy and take care and tight lines.